While Ryzen's debut felt like it happened just a week ago, we're right on the heels of Ryzen 2, and you know what that means. More leaks and just all around more information, plus a cryptocurrency for g gamers? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. We know the Ryzen AM4 platform is supposed to last until 2020, but that doesn't mean there won't be newer chipsets based off said platform that offers newer features you can't get on the current 300 series chipsets. We haven't really heard anything but rumors so far, that is, until now. Video Card spotted just that on PCI SIG, the component group that decides the specifications of the PCI bus. As you can see, the product is listed as the AMD 400 series chipsets, which is exactly what we expected with new motherboards. As pointed out by WCCF Tech, the identifier is Promontory, Promontory, uh, that, <laughs> which is the same code name of AMD's Summit Ridge, which gives us a clue that this is the same platform ultimately, and the new Ryzen CPU should be compatible with the current 300 series chipsets. And if what was said during the interview we got a little while back was accurate, and, well, we have a perfect world, we should be looking at no more than a BIOS update for current motherboards to support the upcoming Ryzen 2 CPUs. As far as the 400 series, it's really up to motherboard manufacturers to whether they can offer enough features in AMD's newest chipsets to compel current 300 owners to make the switch. Unfortunately, we aren't going to know that until we get a good bit more information. Next up for today, cryptocurrency has officially reached its weird place where we don't really know what to do, so companies are just jumping on everything, hoping something sticks. This time, it's gaming. No, I don't mean by inflating the prices of GPUs. This is actually for gamers. It's a cryptocurrency called CryCash, and it's, well, I'm going to let them tell you. It says, quote, CryCash is the first cryptocurrency that satisfies all needs of gamers and game developers with its ecosystem of custom-tailored services. If you're as lost as I was, don't worry, because you're not alone. <laughs> they go into a little more detail, and essentially this is what it does. It allows gamers to earn the cryptocurrency CryCash by completing set tasks set by the developers. It gives an example on their site as 100 kills giving you 3 CryCash. I will say that it's not a horrible idea because it's a way of mining without using massive GPU power and it's done while playing a game, but I'm not sure how the value is formed and all it would take is a game developer to make something too easy to devalue the currency. It's basically a really odd place to be and I'm not an economist or anything like that so I don't fully understand how it could go wrong or how it could be great. Either way, the real story here is that Crytek actually has decided to partner with them, and they're adding it as a payment option for some of their games. But either way, apparently it's a thing. Lastly, we have a pretty insane deal on Steam for Valve's Steam Link. For those who aren't familiar, Steam Link is a small device that connects to your home network to stream your PC games over to another TV or monitor away from said PC. And it's 90 freaking percent off at just $5. You can get that on Steam at the link in the description. So while that does it for today, are you ready for a cryptocurrency made for gamers? Or just pumped for Ryzen 2? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out the GamerMail Discord server, where you can talk with fellow hardware lovers. Check that out in the description. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.